Hi all, in this video we are going to discuss about configuration of DLP setting in Securite Endpoint Security product. Now you are seeing my uh, Endpoint Security console. I'm just trying to log into that by providing my username and password. So I'm logging in with my administrator uh, credential and uh, entering the password here. Yes, we are logging into uh, Securite Endpoint Security Console. Now, as you know, when we click on uh, settings, we will be redirecting towards default policy of endpoint security. If you want some other policy settings other than default one to edit, then you need to go to clients. In clients, we can find manage policies. There we can see the policy list. And when you click on any of those policy, that particular policy will be available for you to edit. Here you can edit the policy name, policy description. As I said, we are trying to configure data loss prevention settings in this uh, video. So let's move to that particular policy. Here we can see DLP, data loss uh, prevention. So when we enable DLP there, we can see uh, here uh, an option to enable the DLP uh, setting. Once we enable that, the remaining settings are uh, available for us to edit. Now, uh, here it is showing display alert messages on DLP policy violation. So if you want any alert messages to be displayed, then you can select that option. And uh, uh, you can select uh, what all channels to be the part of a DLP setting. We know that uh, data loss prevention is a feature which will block the transfer of sensitive data from your system to uh, some other people through various channels. That channels include uh, print screen, removable devices, network share, clipboard, printer activity, application online services. So now I'm selecting some channels over here. So these are the channels I have selected. Yes. So any sensitive data transfer through this channel will be monitored. And in application channel, now we have enabled it. And if you want to customize it, just go to application and what all application you want to select, uh, web browsers, email, instant messaging, then you can select that. If you want to monitor the sensitive data transfer over uh, SSL, you can enable uh, SSL uh, monitoring from here or else no need to enable it. So when we enable SSL monitoring, uh, if you're using Outlook client, uh, uh, no need to uh, worry on that. Uh, otherwise, uh, we need to manually import the uh, certificate uh, uh, into the uh, email client that uh, we are using. So that would be required. So you can uh, click on uh, uh, yes if you want to uh, continue with that, or else you can click on no. Any email client other than the Outlook require manual import of uh, uh, SSL certificate. Otherwise, uh, if it is Outlook, then automatically the certificate will be imported. Now, what are the data we wish to monitor? Let's see that. Here you see file types uh, and confidential data and UDD, user defined dictionary. So, in file types, uh, what are the files you want to monitor that you can enable? I'm monitoring only Office files here. You can see uh, the supported file extension. I'm just enabling that. And in confidential data, you can see um, some set of patterns that we already uh, pre-feeded. So here it includes uh, a credit card, debit card information, personal data. Now I'm selecting only uh, the available credit card, debit card information. Then next, UDD. UDD is an area where we feed the sensitive data in it. So what are sensitive data you have that you can enable? Monitor uh, user-defined dictionary. And there you can see the uh, set of dictionaries available. So uh, these are the dictionaries that I created earlier. If you want to create a new dictionary, then you need to go to admin settings, a uh, server DLP user defined dictionary, where you can save set of keywords and those will be available to you in the specific dictionary name in a policy. So now I'm enabling um, DICT as a dictionary and you can see when you click on view details, what all keywords I have added. So here I have added X, Y, Z. So I'm just selecting that dictionary. So any document or any file containing X, Y, Z, uh, even if it is uh, uh, 
uh, a JPEG uh, file that you are uh, using or a BMP file you're using, if it contains uh, uh, X, Y, Z keyword, we will not allow it to uh, transfer. Basically, we have a feature called OCR, Optical Character Recognition, which is enabling uh, even the JPEG files or BMP files for scanning uh, for uh, the sensitive data. Now we are selecting that and I'm selecting the action as block and report. If you want just to report the incident, not to block that uh, transfer, no need to select uh, 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 block and report. Instead, you can go for a report, uh, report only. Now, again, if you want to create an exception where you don't want to monitor, then you can create that. And normally uh, we support the exceptions for domain. So if you select that, any email domain that you entered, um, that would not be considered for monitoring. And the application that you selected would not be considered for monitoring. And the network path you added would not be considered for monitoring. So this is for excluding from DLP monitoring. And if you want to specify that, just go to admin setting server DLP, where you can add domain name and application and network path, which will be showing over here. And you can enable and save that particular uh, policy uh, using this uh, save policy uh, button. While saving it, it will ask you to update the client password. If you want to uh, specify the client password, you can um, go for S. Uh, when you click on S, it will be asking you to update the uh, client password over here in general setting. Just put the client password that you want and uh, then come down once again and click on uh, save policy. So this is how we are configuring the DLP policy setting in security endpoint security. I believe this is really uh, uh, useful for all of you, those who watch this video, and please uh, see this feature and configure it and ensure that no sensitive data of your organization is moving out without your knowledge. Thank you for watching this video.